Hello web creators, Andrew from Leapworks here. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to use Tooltip's global feature from premium add-ons for Elementor. It's perfect for adding extra details or guidance directly within your Elementor page. With this global feature, you can add eye-catching tooltips with simple text, Lottie animations, photo gallery, or Elementor templates, making your site more engaging for visitors. It's easy to apply to any Elementor's content tab since it exists in all widgets. You can even add interactive tooltip tours to guide users through your site, enhancing their overall experience. Let's dive in. Before we begin, make sure you have both Elementor and premium add-ons for Elementor plugins installed and activated on your WordPress website. Remember, some options require premium add-ons pro to access all the extra features. You'll also need to enable global tooltips. Head to your WordPress dashboard, go to Premium Add-on Settings, and find Tooltips option under the Global Features tab. Toggle it on, and we're ready to go. Now open Elementor, and let's get started. Before we dive in, it's important to note that Tooltips can be applied to any Elementor container or widget. Here I have five movie posters on my website, and I want to add unique Tooltips for each one. First, I will select the container or widget where I want to add a tooltip. In my example, I'll click on the first movie poster image. Then, I will head over to the Content tab, click on Global Tooltip, and toggle Enable Global Tooltip to turn it on for the selected element. Now, let's choose the tooltip content. You have four options, text, Lottie, gallery, or Elementor templates. If you choose text, all you need to do is type your message into the content box, and it will appear on the element. Additionally, you have the option to add an icon. Simply select one from the library, and it will show up next to your text. For a more visually engaging experience, you can choose Lottie. This allows you to use animated elements within your tooltip. For more details on how to use the Lottie Animation Global feature, you can watch the video tutorial linked here. If you want more visual variety, the gallery option allows you to add multiple images and randomly display one of them. Finally, for richer content, the Elementor Templates option allows you to insert any of your saved templates directly into the tooltip, giving you plenty of creative flexibility. The CSS selector option allows you to define the elements that will trigger the tooltip. For example, if you have some text and want to add a tooltip to a specific word, start by going to the Content tab, open the Global Tooltip Settings, enable it, and enter the class name in the CSS selector field. Just remember to include a dot before the class name. Next, go back to your content, wrap the word in a span tag, and assign it the same class you used in the CSS selector field. Let's also give it a color to make it stand out more. This will make the tooltip appear when a user hovers over the word. Next, let's explore the CSS Navigation Selector, which helps you direct users to specific tooltips within a guided tour. For this feature, make sure the class name starts with tooltip hyphen. To make it easy to understand, imagine having a design, and you want to add a guided tooltip tour to help users navigate through it. Begin by setting up your first tooltip. From the Elementor dashboard, go to the Templates tab, click Add New, choose Section as the template type, give it a name, and hit Create. From here, you can design anything you want. For example, add a new container, and inside it, add some text. From the Style tab, I will change the text color to match our design. I'll also adjust the container layout to remove any extra spacing. Next, I'll add a button that directs users to the second tooltip.
Afterward, go to the Advanced tab and enter the same class you will use in the CSS Navigation Selector for the second tooltip, for example, tooltip 2. Then click Publish and create the next tooltip in your tour. On your WordPress dashboard, duplicate the first tooltip template. Give the duplicated template a new name and then modify the text within the new template as needed. Then, in the Advanced tab of the new template, change the CSS class to the one you will use for the next step in the tour, for example, Tooltip 3. To complete our guided tour, we need two more templates like this. I will create them following the same steps. After making these changes, return to your page and refresh it so the templates you created appear. Next, navigate to the Element Settings and select Elementor Template as the content type. Then, Choose the template you created. After that, assign a CSS class to it. If this is the starting point for the tour, make sure to enable the first step in the tour option. This allows the tour begin from this tooltip. Let's add another tooltip for this text element. Then, Enter the same CSS class that you used for the first button. I'll continue my example in the same way. Once everything is set up, publish your changes. Now when users click on the first tooltip, they'll be seamlessly guided to the second, then the third, and so on, creating a smooth and interactive guided tour. Lastly, in the Content tab, you'll find the Hide Tooltip option. This allows you to disable tooltips on specific devices, such as desktops, tablets, or mobile phones if you want. Next, in the Style tab, you can fully customize your tooltips to fit your design needs. Let's explore the Settings tab. If you want the tooltip to follow the user's cursor, enable the Mouse Follow option. You can also enhance your tooltip's appearance by adding a directional arrow for a more polished look. Additionally, you can choose how the tooltip is triggered, whether by click, hover, or when the element enters the viewport. You can also set the tooltip's position relative to the element, allowing it to appear from different directions or use fallback combinations for more accurate placement. For adjusting the spacing, spacing control allows you to adjust the gap between the tooltip and its trigger element. You can set the minimum and maximum width to control the tooltip size. Additionally, you can adjust the height to perfectly fit your layout. To make it more visually appealing, you can add animations. You can also adjust the duration and delay for the smoothest transitions. Finally, Z-Index Control keeps your tooltip visible above other elements. Don't forget to check out the premium templates to streamline your design process. With this, you can easily add pre-designed templates. Just click the star icon, browse the available tooltip templates, select the one you like, and click Insert. And there you have it, everything you need to know about the tooltip's global feature in premium add-ons for Elementor. With so many options, the possibilities are endless. Download premium add-ons now and let us know in the comments how you're using tooltips on your site. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this tutorial with your fellow designers. Until next time, keep creating magic with premium add-ons for Elementor.